Tarzan and the Diamond of Asher. As the Tarzan Gregory expedition forges ahead through the jungles of the Belgian Congo, Helen Gregory mysteriously disappears from her tent in the midst of the encampment, and Tarzan goes in search of her. After an absence of eight days, he rejoins the expedition without having found trace of the missing girl. In an argument over Magra, Tom is about to kill Wolf when Tarzan separates the combatants, and as the little camp settles down on the edge of the jungle, before venturing out over the vast expanse of sun-baked rock, culminating in the volcanic cone of Tuanbaka, Darno takes up his post as sentry. Magra accompanies the Frenchman and admits to him her love for Tarzan. In the midst of her remarks, she suddenly screams. Swinging slowly toward them through the branches of the trees is a terrifying phosphorescent death's head. As Tarzan arrives and answers Darno's call, the gruesome apparition speaks. Tarzan, I am going to shoot. No, Darno. Take Margaret back to the campfire. And don't leave the others. Don't let anyone leave until I get back. Look, Darno. It is fading. Oh, thank heaven. It is gone. Come, Agra. Back to the fire. We must not let the others leave. Hurry. What was that, Darno? That voice? Uh, we are coming, Tom. Stay where you are. Do not let last no wolf leave. You must remain close to us now, Magra. We want no more disappearances. What thing all the excitement, Lieutenant? The most astonishing and fearsome thing I have ever witnessed, mes amis. What was it? Why, Magra, child, you are trembling like a leaf. What is the matter? Oh, it was horrible. Oui, oui, it was just that. You recall those masks we saw carved on the stone in the causeway? Yes, what of them? We saw one coming straight toward us from out of the trees. Ah. From out of the trees? Ooh. You saw one of those, uh, those skulls? Yes, yes, Wolf. Oh, it was ghastly. Exactly like those in the causeway, but much larger. It seemed to, to swim toward us in the darkness, oh, so slowly. And it was etched in livid fire. Sacre, I am not, I am not a superstitious man, but it almost petrified me. Well, that was the idea, of course, to frighten you into a state of helplessness and then... Perhaps one or both of you would have vanished. I tell you, we've been up against something pretty strange. I don't like it. Not by a yogful. It is Africa, Larson. Ah, sure. Africa. Et puis, the, the thing stopped moving toward us when Tarzan came up, and then it spoke. Who touched what we heard? What did it say? I only wish I could tell you. The voice itself was so weird. So unearthly that I missed the first words. Words, you say? Did you recognize none of them? No, Monsieur Tom. But I am positive that they were words and that they formed a complete sentence. Vous savez? Uh, the voice used mostly long vowels, like... Uh, like... like Egyptian, possibly old Egyptian. C'est ça. Just a moment, sir. But you must have heard it here. Did you not understand it? I, uh, no, Darno. I was too far away to hear. I merely hazarded the guess, Egyptian, because of those hieroglyphs back in the causeway. Ah, uh, oui, je comprends. Uh, what happened to the mess? It simply evaporated. Vanished as though it had not been. 
Where's Tulsa? He went to look for it. He went up into the trees again? We oui, lost him. And if it is to be found, he will find it. Uh, Medit, throw some more wood on the fire, Wolf. It is silly, I know, but you tremble on core. I, I am still trembling. Yeah, yeah, and I don't blame you. Those card faces in the course way was bad enough. But to see one coming toward you, out there in the open, oh, oh, I couldn't. Oh, no, no. But you see, Tarzan. Now we shall see what we shall see. Here he comes. See him swing down from that tree. It is as if he were flying. Everyone here? All here and safe, Tarzan. What did you discover? Nothing. I covered every bit of ground for at least half a mile around the camp. Whatever it was is gone. And so, mon ami, you have discovered something in the jungle which you do not understand or know, eh? I am positive that this strange apparition is not of the jungle, Dono. You mean it is part of that country out there? Yes. It is not in the jungle now. Whatever it was and however it was done, I am certain it was simply to frighten you, Darno, and Margaret. Exactly my thought, Tarzan. Well, it been gone. We can't bring it back by losing sleep over it. Right, Larson. We'll have plenty to do in the morning before we start out across that stretch of rock. I'll get some rest, all of you. You'll need it. I shall continue my guard duty, Tarzan, no? I'll watch the rest of the night. You turn, Darno. The little group composed themselves to sleep about the campfire. Far down in the black velvet sky hangs the ghost of a waning moon. Crickets thicken the air with their shrilling, and quiet waiting like sheeted death steals over the forest. Above the sleep hamp on a giant limb, Tarzan, lord of the jungle, keeps his lonely vigil through the long hours. Ears that can hear Hista the snake pass through the grass, eyes that, like a cat, see in the dark. His every jungle train sense is alert to catch some unusual sound. At the first long slit of daylight, Tarzan awakens his friends, and as if sleep were an unnecessary waste of time for him, goes directly about the business at hand. Uh, strip down those supplies. The lighter we travel, the better. Yeah, well, a couple of cooking pots, anyway. No, Wolf, just the bare necessities. You think it's hot here. After we've covered the first mile of that smooth red rock under a blazing sun, you'll wish you were back in the cool jungle. And besides, Wolf, what are we going to use out there for a fire, eh? <laughs> You've been wrong again, Dutchman, but that... Nothing <laughs> unusual. <laughs> Mais, mon Dieu, you have forgotten one thing. It means nothing to you, but to the rest of us, it is important. Our tobacco supply. All right, Arnold. Take it. I suppose it is a necessity. Uh, fix the packs in military style, Darno. I'm going to take a last look around before we start. I'll join you at the edge of the jungle. Uh, Vene, uh, help me with the packs, Larson. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, sure. <laughs> you might as well throw that cooking pot away, Bull. Staring at it will make it nonetheless taboo. Yeah, I guess it's useless out there, all right. Well, it is <laughs> for the next traveler to Asher. As soon as you are finished with the packs, Darno, we will go on, eh? Tarzan will probably be waiting for us. We've been through now, Tom. Here, Lieutenant, I carry that. It been the track. Bien, mes amis, it is finished. Let us go. What a desolate waste. Nothing but rock and sun. Come over here and I'll show you the road. Hey, Jiminy, it's been a road, all right. And smooth as glass, just like Tarzan said. And wherever it leads, that's where we're going. Now, come on and keep your eyes open. Mon Dieu, I have never seen a country so barren as this. Even in the Sahara, there are occasional oases. It does not seem possible that any kind of life can exist here. You know what gets me is the absolute straight line this road follows. It looks like a surveying job. I hope we don't have to go too far. Shoe leather ain't going to last long on this rock. And my cher Elaine, probably pushed and hurried over this road. Never in my life have I so wished for an arrow plan. Well, we are making good time, Darno, and in the right direction. You must try to be patient, Lieutenant Darno, and save your energy until you can use it against those who have carried Elaine away. You and I have been in worse spots than this, Darno, and come out. Now let me set the pace. You are right, and I am sorry, Tarzan. It is only that I am so anxious to find and help Elaine. Hour after hour, the little party plod onward over the hard, smooth roadway, which reflects the brassy glare and stifling heat of the sun like a blast from the suddenly opened door of a giant furnace. 
Before them, the road slopes gradually upward with each succeeding mile, until late in the afternoon, Tarzan, who was well in the lead, pauses and lifts his hand. Here's something different for a change. Hurry up. Uh, we shall be there in a moment. Just a few more steps, Margaret. Can you make it? I shall be there. With the rest of you. The road tends here around this big boulder. Now look. Fairly. When did you ever see such cliffs? Straight up. Hundreds of feet on both sides. And look at those boulders. Oh, they are mountains in themselves. And shade. Just a few yards away. You'll feel better when you've been out of the sun for a while, Margaret. You look worn out. Come over here. Oh, what a relief. It is almost like a cool bath. Oh, that is good, Tarzan. Yeah, sure, it's been fine. But I've been worried. Well, uh, what now, sweet? All day long I feel like someone been watching me. And right now I feel it worse than ever. Mm, you thought it did too. Well, I'm the same way. Don't let your imaginations run away with you, you two. We're probably the only human beings in this valley. Uh, look up there on the side of the cliff. There is some sort of inscription carved on the rock. Non dan non, so it is. And a narrow path leading to... Uh, let us go up, Tarzan. No, Darno. Uh, not all of us. Tom, do you think you can read it? I doubt it. But I should like to look at it closer. We'll go up. The rest of you wait here. You better leave your gun, Tom. That's a stiff climb. Tarzan and Tom begin the ascent up the almost perpendicular trail. The remainder of the party stand in the shade, watching. Higher and higher the two men climb. The ape man without effort, Tom with great difficulty. At last, with Tarzan assisting his companion over the frequent, almost inaccessible spots, they suddenly find themselves on a large, smooth ledge. There's your rock riding, Tom. And over here is something we couldn't see from the valley. Uh, the mouth of a cave. Uh, shall we go in? You study that inscription. I'll investigate the cave. Tom, there's been someone here. Well? Uh? Recently. Look at these scraps of meat. They are spoiled yet. Ah, and this, a piece of cloth. Uh, here is another. Do you recognize it? It's torn from Helen's wrap legging. Come on, we'll search this cave. Uh, do you think it is safe to go in? It may be a trap. You stay here then. I'll go in. Tarzan! Tarzan! What is it? That horrible monster just inside the cave. I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. I don't know what it is, Tarzan. But it can't be. It's a Tyrannosaurus. But they've been extinct for ages. It's one of the flesh-eating dinosaurs. This one's not extinct. Quick, get your rifle. Look out, Tarzan. He's coming. He's coming for you. 